Robin Cohen with us today. She's a blogger with MomsWearHeels.com, and you got some advice for those who are expecting. Yes, those who are expecting, and also, if you know someone who's expecting, pass along the information for sure. So today I'm actually almost 38 weeks pregnant, so I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and have my hospital bag packed, ready to go. Therefore, I minimize the stress, I get ready, and the only thing I have to focus on when the baby is coming is the labor. So first thing you're going to want, want to make sure that you have is a boppy pillow. And are you familiar I with I was going to ask pillow? what that is. What is a boppy pillow? It's so something boppy... I've never had to deal with. <laughs> so I know you did mention that you don't have kids, you don't you know, it's not for you. So you can actually help me represent that demographic of, you know, anyone who's still trying to learn. And, right. And, you know, and maybe we, you have... I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, you can help me out if you know someone who's pregnant or anything right. like that. So this boppy pillow actually is great for breastfeeding moms. If you plan on breastfeeding your child, this is like and this is the same one that I actually used for my son, who is now two and a half going on 33. Um, and I actually just bought a little slip cover here to make it pink and, you know, festive for, for baby girls. So this is fun and highly required and Wait. a necessity. So where, where does that go? Hospital. Do you sit on that or do you hold the baby this in one that? A, yeah, this one. <laughs> the baby actually, there's a few ways you can kind of maneuver to use this. Um, but this, for the first, I'd say about six months of life, is just really good for, again, breastfeeding and assisting mom with kind of getting a comfortable position and all that good stuff. So this one is definitely a must have. Bring to the hospital bag, make that transition easier for mom to welcome baby girl or boy into the world. Then, if you're like me, you're a bookworm. And even if you're not a bookworm, you're gonna be in labor. It could be anywhere from four hours to 35 hours. So it's a good idea to have some good reading materials so that you know, you're not just sitting at the hospital and just kind of like, you know, bored and, and just waiting around. So good ma reading materials is definitely a good idea. And then it's also a good idea <laughs> to always have your phone. And I know if you're anything like 99% of us, you probably have a smartphone, so you're not gonna have to bring a camera or anything like that. Just go ahead and bring this and it'll have a camera installed. You can let people know when you're in labor and all that good stuff. And you can watch the morning brew. And I can tune in and watch good old Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so moving on, you're definitely going to not want to forget this, guys. This is a must-have. Phone charger. What good is this if you don't have this, right? So for me, I'm going to leave it in my wall. And I should actually add that it's a good idea if you are going to be going into labor soon. I should actually um, add in that it's a good idea to start having this heart hospital bag packs around 37 weeks, I'd say 38 weeks tops, because at this point, midwife said, Monica could be any day now, so make sure you're ready to go. So I went online and actually printed out this little handy little checklist here, and this is really helpful. When you do start labor and your contractions are getting close together, why not go ahead and just have husband help you? Husband, yes, <laughs> help the mom out. And just make sure you have everything, check it off, that way you're not forgetting anything as important as this with Bobby Pillow. Is that something anybody can just find on the web and print out? Yeah, you know what, I just Googled um, hospital bag checklist. I was gonna create my own, but I wasn't that ambitious. So yeah, just go ahead and Google it and good to go. All right. And then I also just printed out my own just to make sure that it was personal and I could just compliment whatever was on this. And then you so, make sure you have like, you know, that in triplicate so that your husband has it and you have it and everyone else has it, right? Yeah, well, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do that. But at the same time, husband knows this is our bag. So that's actually a good point, Dan. Thank you for bringing that up. It's a good idea to pack things for a husband as well or anyone who you're gonna have in the, in the hospital room with you. And I asked my husband, who's a chef, I said, what do you need in a hospital bag? He said, snacks. <laughs> of course, of course, my husband wants snacks. That's the only thing on his list. So I went to the store, bought his favorite kind of healthy energy inducing snack because again, he might be in the hospital room with me from anywhere from hours to days. So have him some snacks here. And then moms, you might not know this, but when you're in labor, you can't eat. It's very, very hard on the mom. You cannot have hamburgers, anything of sustenance. So you're going to want to make sure that you're just having ice cubes and um, juice and, and water and lollipops because they're fun and you can actually have them during labor. 
All right, so now we're moving on to the fun stuff. Okay, My how much of this did you learn after baby number one? So you, there was probably, you, you packed a bag. I didn't have a, a hospital bag with baby number one. That's how much I learned. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared at all. I didn't have my registration done or anything like that. It just. It just happened. That's and why they say it. experience breeds the wisdom because that's. Right. I was like, I want to be ready this time. So, yeah. Um, next thing is you want to have some fun socks for baby. Just keep your feet warm. And, of course, a going home outfit for your daughter or son. This to me was like the funnest part about packing my hospital bag was to make sure that I had this for her. I mean, how it's gonna make going through the labor, the pain, all that, that much more exciting because I have something to look forward to, which is putting her in her little, her little outfit. So we have that. Um, this just for fun. You might want to do some some newborn photos um, uh, once baby does come. I know for the hospital that I'm giving birth at Loveless, they do offer photos complimentary if you're in the labor of love program. So have that for her photos. And then you're going to want to make sure that mom is comfortable, that mom has a going home outfit as well. So if you just had a baby, you probably need something stretchy, leggings, yoga pants, <laughs> all that good stuff. And yes, <laughs> another note, you have not had a baby before you still will look pregnant when you leave the hospital so i am bringing maternity clothes to go home in um it's just going to be just want to be comfortable it's my number one priority after having a baby um next you're going to want to make sure that you're bringing some blankets of course just or burping anything you need it for it's a good idea a warmer blanket for baby and you know what? This is actually a fun idea. Again, pass the info along if you know anyone who's expecting Dan. Right. This is actually a, a custom labor gown. And I got this one actually from figure8maternity.com. And this one you can wear, and it personalizes the experience of being in labor and all that good stuff. So that way you don't feel like you're in jail or right. you're wearing someone else's. Stuff, you know so what I'm saying? just quickly, what's the one thing that you wish you would have known and packed the last time? What's the one thing, the really critical thing of all of this stuff? <laughs> that is like... Or is it just the bag in all? That's a hard question. I would say that depends on each mom. You're going to have to go off of her values. For me, that would probably be snacks. <laughs> uh, so that's going to differ from, from mom to mom for sure. Excellent. Well, thank you, Monica. We'll see you next week. If the... If, if the kid has a I, I think she'll be here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a feeling, so. Yeah. That'll be great. We'll be back in a couple of seconds in the morning, bro. I'm going to figure out how to use that pillow in just a second. <laughs>